Hello everyone. We will continue the topic. In the previous videos, we put so much stress that log is very very important. And in call transaction method of BDC, the log is coming into this internal table. In the previous video, we saw in the debugging mode. Suppose at that point of time we checked when a material successfully created. Ultimately, log is coming into this internal table. Log means success, error, warning. These all things will come into this internal table because log is very important. Suppose I have one crore records. I am uploading one crore records. At the last, how we can recognize how many records failed or how many records successfully processed with the help of this internal table only. It means we will display this internal table so that we can recognize that this is the final result, final processing of the records. If I will check the type of this internal table, this internal table is of type this particular structure and structure has this column. In the previous video, we checked in this message ID column, we are getting the message class. In this message number, we are getting the message number. In the message type, we are getting the message type means success, error, warning. But will end user will understand this information? We require message. We require message text. Suppose in the previous video, when a material got successfully created, we got the message class M3. And the message number was 800. So material this created, material this created. So end user or we always, always understand the message text. So next is how we will display the message text. We have the message class. We have the message number. So can we recognize or can we get the message text? Because we all will understand the message text only. So to achieve this, SAP provided a function module. We will simply use that function module. And name of the function module is message underscore text underscore build. Suppose. If I will execute this function module and show you the demo, suppose I am passing message class M3 in the message ID. Message number, suppose I am passing 800. Suppose in, in the previous video, when the material got created, we got the material in MSG V1. Suppose if I am executing this function module, have you seen we got the message material this created? It means we can use this function module to get the message text and ultimately everyone can understand the message text. Simple. If you are going for any live site or live suppose any website or any suppose you are going to be doing any action on the live portal. Suppose if something is coming M3800, how we can recognize? We can recognize material this created or this is the error. We require a message text. So how we will do? Firstly, I will put a loop on this internal table mess tab so that we can display the log. I will pass it to work area. Now inside this loop, I will call the function module message text build. 
just now we show that demo also. I will call this function module through the pattern end. Now message ID in this work area, our message ID will come. Message number. I will check as am I using the right variable name? LT mess tab. Mess tab. I will just change the name. Message ID, MSG ID, MSG NR. MSG ID, MSG NR. I will pass MSG V1, V2, V3, V4 also. You already know that in a message, in a message, we can pass 4 M percent. That's why we have 4 MSG V1 to V4 variable. So I will write ls underscore mess tab hyphen. What is there? MSG V1. We can pass 4 M percent into a message number. That's why we have four, four variables MSG V1 to MSG V4. And in the previous video, we saw that in MSG V1 variable, we are getting the material which got created. Now we will pass all these things and we will get the message text. And I will display this message using right statement. What will be the type of LV message? It will be same as that of message text output. So I will check what is the type of message text output. Message text output, I can declare like this only. Suppose I will declare like string because message can be any character long data. LV underscore message type string. Now our everything is done in this particular method of call transaction. Now what we will do, firstly, we will go for all screen mode. We will check each and everything. Then we will go for no screen mode. Then we will go for error. And we will go for full understanding in the debugging mode so that the topic will make full sense to you. Now, what I will do, I will change the first row in the legacy because in the previous video, we created the first material and we cannot create the mat same material again because material number is the primary key. Suppose I will make it as six. Rest materials we have not created. So we will now do the whole process. I will put a breakpoint starting from the scratch itself. I'm running this program. Whenever I will click on to this button, add selection screen on value request will call. And you can see add selection screen on value request event called. I'm executing this function module. You can see it is showing our desktop. Whenever I will select the file, we are getting the full, full path 
of the phi, full path of the phi. Now, whenever I will click on to this execute button, start of selection event called, and we are using GUI upload in start of selection to get the data, to read the data available in this particular path. And you can see five records came into this internal table, five records. One by one, we will run the recording for each and every record. Now I will put a break point here also so that you can clearly see how data is refreshing also. I'll just wait. I think system is hanged. And we will see the processing of each and every record. Okay. Now I am on this loop statement. First record will go to work area. First record. It means what is the first work area matinar P mat six industry sector P means pharmaceutical material type raw material means T R O H. What is the description material one? What is the unit of measurement EA? And if I will show you LTVDC data, it will fill one by one. Now you can see our first material and why we are getting all, why we are getting screen by screen processing because we used A mode A. Okay. 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 Now you can see first material successfully created and you can see if you see the log internal table, the first material successfully created success type M3 is the message class and 800. Now you can see as of now LTBDC data has 16. Now the refresh is executing and now we have again how many records zero and why we put refresh in the previous video we put so much stress if you will not refresh this every time your first first record will process now it's a turn for second record but a second record in the excel it is p mat 2 okay okay what is the description material to and you can see our second material successfully created and you can see in the mess tab we have two records now p mat 6 p mat 2 now again we are refreshing bdc data so again how many records zero it's a turn for third record now what is the third record P mat three? What is the description material three for the third material? Third record successfully processed. How many records in the mass tab? Three records now for the third material successfully processed. Now it's a turn for the fourth material P mat four fourth material successfully created mass tab has four records now it's a turn for the fifth record fifth record successfully processed and we have five records in this mass tab internal table now after this we are simply simply displaying this mass tab internal table now one by one you are passing you are passing the message class message number and message v1 to v4 so you can see 
it is successfully creating the message message material p mat 6 created now second record material p mat 2 created third fourth and now it is fifth so now we are displaying all the log also so you can see clearly how we are going for successfully processing of these five materials but task has not done if you remember what is the last step of data migration we should verify that data after that only we can tell that data is successfully processed it means we have to check in mara and mkt table is these materials are available with the required things so our last step is to verify that data and this step we will continue in the next video thank you